everyone, it is Matthew. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we are here for our third day of the Madison Regatta. Today is day three of four here in Madison, Indiana, camping alongside the Ohio River. Today, we have a lot of stuff planned. There's a lot of action going on, boat racing, there's a fireworks show tonight, so much stuff going on right around the campsite in the town of Madison, Indiana. It's gonna be a very action-packed video, a very fun day. Before we get started though, make sure you all leave a like on the video and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. And now, let's go ahead and start today's video. As you see right now, it is actually storming out or it's kind of slowed down a little bit, but uh, it's been storming for a while now. It's 10 o'clock right now starting off this video and uh, I'm in the camper obviously, but the rain is supposed to stop for around one o'clock and hopefully then we can get some boat racing and stuff going on and they said there is a chance it, the rain starts back up later tonight. Hopefully it doesn't because there's a fireworks show going on later. Uh, today I wasn't really gonna vlog any of the boat racing and stuff because I wanna save that all for a huge video for tomorrow's uh, video that I'm doing, um, make it kind of like the Gunnersville style video, if that makes sense. A little bit later, and uh, we drove into town. We're here at Red Pepperoni, continuing the yearly tradition. Oh my gosh, the thunder's going crazy. So we got our food. I got a pepperoni pizza. It looks really, really good. What was that noise? Oh my gosh, the food is all gone. You've got to be kidding. Sirens are going crazy somewhere. Uh, people are, were just letting off a bunch of fireworks, I guess, to celebrate the storms being over. Basically how H1's doing it though, they're having five preliminary heats and then obviously the final, and they were all gonna be four boat heats and stuff, except obviously the final will be all five of them. But um, I, they were supposed to have three heats today. There's no way they're gonna get three heats in today because they have to do testing, and I'm sure Grand Prix and Pro Lights will have some racing going on. So this guy over here you in this tent is using a squirt gun to get all the water out of it from the rain look at this the 440s camper if you look there they have all the states highlighted that it's been through that's cool as you see there's a lot of action going on in the pits only problem there's no buoys being set up so so they they asked on a trivia question how many times the Madison boat has won here and I actually added up every year that I could remember said nine gave him the answer he went and told him and it was right look at that Whoever's that is sure took a hard hit from the storms and stuff. Okay, so we're back down to the campsite. So they just made the announcement. It's almost three o'clock and they're gonna get boats on the water at three o'clock. They're gonna try to run heat every 20 minutes until six o'clock. And they're gonna try to get three H1 unlimited heats in today, along with three heats for the other two classes. Now I'm not gonna put any of the racing in for H1 today. I'm gonna put that all into a huge video tomorrow and stuff. I'll just do like a replay for the heats they do today. I have a feeling they're not gonna get all three heats done today for H1. I feel like two is very possible. <laughs> Here we go, we're underway finally. The GPs will be the first boats on the water. Wait, look at this. You see, look, Dustin Eccles is running up the restaurant boat thing. They must have crashed into that. We're walking this way, one, because uh, H1 heats are right after the Pro Light heat, which is about to start. But also, one of the GPs apparently, like, I guess, crashed or like not crashed but like died and then drifted into the restaurant boat and i just saw dustin eccles running up the restaurant boat so they like crashed into the restaurant boat and he jumped out onto the boat i was about to say though dustin eccles the reason he's probably running he's got to hurry and get back to his h1 boat the 40 is coming up in like 25 minutes well they're they're towing the boat in so the pro lights just got done. Uh, next up is the first H1 Unlimited heat. Like I said, I'm gonna put all the H1 Unlimited racing into the main video uh, for the final day of the Madison Regatta. So I guess I'll see you when uh, the first H1 race is done. I hear the engines. This one's gonna be a good heat right here to start the day for H1. Well, I don't know what's going in. All the boats are coming in. So I guess one of the buoys is out of place. So they are going to bring the boats back in, refuel them, and then restart that heat. Okay, so it's a little bit later um, right now. 
uh, they are putting the GP boats back in the water. I think they're going to run the GP heat number two before they go back to the restart of H1 Unlimited heat number one. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll do pro lights in between that. Currently going to get some ice cream because it is very hot out right now and humid. Okay, we got some ice cream. What's crazy is we had storms and then it was actually really cool out after the storms got done. It's now up to like 100 degrees, but I'm gonna enjoy some ice cream and the GPs should be coming up pretty soon. Okay, for the second time, we're about to start heat number one for H1 Unlimited. So heat number one just got done and what a shocking heat. Uh, Jamie Nielsen in the U11, even though the three boats he beat qualified faster, he ran away with that heat, got a perfect start, had lane one, and never looked back. What a run by the U11. And we're now heading back to the campsite. Apparently there is going to be at least one more H1 Unlimited race and then also one more Grand Prix race. The H1 Unlimited race is actually coming up next. So we got to hurry and get in position with all the cameras and stuff. We're running two cameras today. I know we're running three cameras tomorrow for the preliminary heats for the main video. I'm gonna be filming down in turn one uh, for heat number two for H1. And then we're gonna have the other camera down. Uh, kind of close to the bridge, kind of close where I was for heat number one. Now from my angle, I really couldn't, what was that? Someone's popping firecrackers back at the campsite. But uh, I couldn't really tell too much from where we were standing, if there was any penalties or anything, but it looks like the U91, which isn't too much of a surprise, but yeah. Okay, apparently there's even more racing going on. I guess the GP heat is about to start and then they're gonna try to run one more H1 Unlimited preliminary heat. I, I've normally they end racing by like five or six. They're gonna have a heat at sunset, like 8:30. Okay, so the GP boats are getting ready to have their heat. Literally in just a few seconds, you can hear them. But I'm trying to make it down this way for H1 heat number three because it's in like 20 to 30 minutes once they get done. And my camera position assignment uh, for heat three is all the way down by the bridge, so I gotta hurry. It's now about time for preliminary heat three for H1 Unlimited here. But I just saw people walking across the bridge. If the bridge is open to film, the, normally they shut down the bridge for anyone to go across while racing's going on, but there's literally people crossing the bridge. If the bridge is open, I got the greatest shot in history. Oh the God, this is muddy. Holy biscuits and gravy on a Tuesday night. There's no security. We are literally allowed to film on the bridge. No way. Right there is where I was standing, right there. Ran up that siding. Wait a second. They are putting the 11 back, aren't they? If they do not race after I just did this with the bridge being open. I'm no way. I was about to get the best shot in history. And they, they're they not going to race now? Look at this. Look at the shot I would have had. Oh my gosh. I am so upset. Tomorrow morning when they run Heat 3, I'm coming down here because who knows, maybe it's been open and this year they're doing it differently because normally they have it closed during the racing, but maybe it's different this year. But I'm going to come back tomorrow morning for the next Heat and see. But if it is closed tomorrow, I'm going to be so upset. I mean, it's cool that I got to walk on the bridge this year, but if it's closed tomorrow, I mean, if it's not closed tomorrow, then it's no big deal. But if it is closed, I'll be so sad because like that is a once in a lifetime shot right there. Okay, well, I'm off the bridge now. Tomorrow, we're coming back and seeing if that's open. Even if it's for one heat, if it's for the first heat, it, it will all be worth it. I hope it's for every heat, but that, that's just crazy because every year it's always closed. And then I just, I was down there and I looked up and there was people walking. I was like, run. So I'm assuming that will be it. My guess is they probably had to get the race done before eight o'clock and it would not have been done before eight. It would have been like 8.05. I'm sure probably the river opens up at eight. That was probably the reason they didn't run it. But either way, it was a fun day of racing and we'll have a lot more tomorrow. I'm almost back to the campsite right now. Uh, fireworks are supposed to be at 10 o'clock tonight. It's That's like in around an hour and a half. There's a man on the Kentucky side of the river with a flamethrower. He's lighting the water though. What does he think is going to happen? The water's going to catch fire? Everybody, it's getting dark a little bit. The fireworks show actually starts in 45 minutes. We're just chilling at the campsite right now. 
The firework barge is on its way. They moved up the fireworks to 9.30 and then they're moving the concert with, um, I already forgot who's playing. Who's playing? Blackberry Smokey. Blackberry Smoke is playing at 10 o'clock. The okay, so they're about to start the fireworks. I'll, I may go down here a little bit to see them. Um, oh, they're starting. Funny thing is with us being in like a valley, the sound like echoes throughout, especially when you get to the finale. Okay, we're about to go down and see uh, Blackberry smoke, but uh, the winds are starting to pick up. I'm feeling some raindrops. There's lightning in the distance. Okay, this it just dropped like 30 degrees in a span of 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, we're gonna blow away. Thank goodness we don't have the awnings up like the other day. And anyway, wait, let's look at this. It's very difficult to see, but traffic on the bridge is a standstill right now. Okay, everybody, where are we going down to? Everybody's left. Did everybody already go to the concert? Hello? Oh, it's starting to rain. We're heading down the street towards the concert thing. I'm sure they've already shut it down. Uh-oh. Uh okay, you want to go back? Tornado warning! Run! Run! We gotta get back to the camper. Are we in a tornado? I just got soaked. Okay, we're in the camper. He's literally just out of nowhere. I think I cut the video. Literally, as I was running in the camper, it just turned into a monsoon. Oh my God. I'm soaked. No, like literally I was 20 feet and it was just sprinkling and then I was running towards the camper and then just out of nowhere, kaboom. Okay, so it is like 20 minutes later. We ran into the camper. Um, we stayed in there. Uh, it was pouring down rain, huge storm. But now the rain is basically, it's still sprinkling, but it's mainly stopped. And I think they are restarting the concert. So we're walking down that way. Even if they're not restarting it, we're still walking down that way. Oh my gosh. I know it's hard to see. I'll adjust the brightness a little bit, but there are so many tents that are just down and whoa. But look at this. Look at the water, it's like a good like, look at the trash can how deep it is. It's like four inches deep. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so it's about 30 minutes later and they have restarted the concert. It's a little bit later. Uh, I stayed down there for a little while. Uh, right now it's right around one o'clock. Uh, we got down there a little past uh, midnight. They started the show right back at midnight. Uh, because it got started so late, they lots of people down at the campsite didn't even go down there. And the few of us that did, they've already left and stuff. So yeah, it's right uh, around one o'clock, maybe a little past it right now. And I'm heading back to the campsite. They're still playing right now. Well, everyone else is already asleep. This is crazy. Everyone else normally is awake till like 
2, 3 in the morning. And the one night that I actually stay up close to that late, everybody's already asleep. So that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. This was a very fun day, and hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Um, I got to get to sleep because it's like 2 in the morning, and uh, the final day of Madison Regatta is going to be insane. Uh, but make sure to leave a like on the video. Make sure to comment on the video, and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. The final video from the Madison Regatta, that one is going to be insane. But that's going to be all for this video. So till next time, see ya. Say that it feels right.